the case for narcolepsy being an autoimmune disease is stronger than ever. This is a recent, just one hour ago, a Science Alert article by Carly Casella. Scientists noticed again, and they found proof that narcolepsy, a lifelong neurological sleep disorder, is actually an autoimmune disease. It's something that experts have suspected for many years, but only recently has there been any real evidence of this. The first missing link came last year, when scientists noticed the presence of autoimmune cells in blood samples from narcolepsy patients. These autoreactive cells, called CD4 T cells, were targeting the body's own healthy neurons in the hypothalamus, the same ones that produce hypocretin, or orexin, a protein that regulates wakefulness. At the time, this was considered the first real proof that narcolepsy was at its roots, an autoimmune disease. Before that, it was widely acknowledged that narcolepsy patients lacked hypocretin, and that they also shared genes with other autoimmune patients. But for all that, there was no clear biological cause. Now, half a year later, scientists have caught two culprits, and like Bonnie and Clyde, they're more destructive together. Quote, two kill other cells, CD4 and CD8 T cells, usually have to work together says Bridget Rabick Cornum, neuroscientist at the University of Copenhagen. In 2018, scientists discovered autoreactive CD4 T cells in narcolepsy patients, and now we have provided more important proof that CD8 T cells are autoreactive too. Analyzing blood samples from 20 patients with narcolepsy, the new research found CD8 T cells in much higher number than in the 52 healthy controls. In fact, nearly all patients with narcolepsy show the presence of CD8 T cells. No. Plus, while it's true that some healthy individuals also had autoreactive cells, the authors say they were just lying dormant waiting for a trigger to set them off. We found autoreactive cytotoxin CD8 T cells in the blood of narcolepsy patients, explained Rabbit Cornum. That is, the T cells, the cells recognize the neurons that produce hypocretin, which regulates a person's waking state. It does not prove that they are the ones that killed the neurons, but it is an important step forward, and now we know what the cells are after. Scientists are not really sure what causes narcolepsy, a disorder marked by excessive daytime sleepiness, but many accept it's a combination of genetics and environmental trigger for autoreactive cells. When triggered, the latter can throw the immune system out of whack, causing it to attack healthy tissues. The trigger can sometimes be as simple as the influenza virus or even the vaccination. Recently, in fact, CD4 T cells were found to react with H1N1 influenza strain from 2009-2010. Uh, this was the year of the swine flu. And afterwards, researchers noticed a three-fold increase in the incident of narcolepsy in China. But while CD4 T cells can infiltrate the brain and cause inflammation, the authors think this is only what starts the process of narcolepsy. In the end, only CD8 T cells are cytotoxic, meaning that they can actually kill the hypocretin-producing neurons. And they say thus, even though autoreactive CD4 T cells might initiate the disease process, we hypothesize that the presence of autoreactive CD8 T cells couldn't be necessary for the development of genuine narcolepsy. This is not to say that CD8 T cells are more important. In fact, the authors think they might even depend upon CD4 T cells to function properly. Obviously, there's still a ton of research that needs to be done before we can truly understand this debilitating condition, but with brand new targets for treatment, the new research could have an immense impact. Rakeb Cornum says, now there will probably be more focus on trying to treat narcolepsy with drugs allying the immune system. This has already been attempted though, because the hypothesis is that it is an autoimmune disease and has existed for many years, but now that we know that it is T cell driven, we can begin to target and make immune treatments even more effective and precise. So this study has been published in Nature Communications and it's on Science Alert.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.